Hey everybody! So it is kind of late, um, 10.30 on Tuesday night, but it's Brenna Red Beast here coming to you live from the Conquer the Gauntlet Pro Team. So it is Tuesday, which means Technique Tuesday or Tip Tuesday. Um, I don't have any crazy obstacle techniques or anything for you this time. Some of us, most of us are still in off season, still training. Um, some have started the countdown for the first race of the season. I myself personally and Evan have 18 days until our first race of the season. And that is going to be Hannibal Race in Kuwait. Um, anyways, so the point again, Technique Tuesday or Tip Tuesday. I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, every race I will learn a random technique or something that I have remembered and carried with me for years. Um, there's been certain things like wiping your hands on your hair as a girl, um, especially when I braid my hair. If I wipe my hands, heat on my hair, it dries your hands. Um, someone taught me that in a race, and it helped. Never would have thought of it, and I remember it every race. But the biggest one that I learned, and this was like four years ago probably at a race. What's up, Pooh? Um, but four years ago at a race, I was shown this technique and I will never forget it. And I have shown many that didn't know about it. Um, and it's been life-saving game changer when it comes to obstacle horse racing. So, hey, 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 Rob. I went live because I didn't really want to make a video and I was um, behind in posting this today for you guys. So, basically, banana. Very important, OCR. Cross the finish line, you have a banana. I did not know that there are two ways to peel and open a banana. Maybe you already know this. Maybe you're way smarter than me. I don't know. Sorry, my dog's trying to disturb us. Um, but basically, you finish your race and you're tired, you're fatigued, you haven't gotten water yet, you're waiting for them to give you your water at the finish line and they hand you a banana. You're muddy. What are you supposed to do with that banana? Sometimes the bananas are really fresh, ripe, and green and you're pulling. I mean, I have beat up a banana, like bruised the top of it badly by twisting and bending and it's not opening, it's not opening. So what are you gonna do? And when your hands are muddy and then you get mud all over your banana, and it's just, no one wants that at the end of a race. So, little did you know, or maybe you do know this already, take your banana, turn it upside down, and you give a little pinch right here. Pinch. And voila. Simple as that. The funny thing is, this is how the monkeys do it. <laughs> Who knew that the chimps and monkeys were smarter? But I never opened my banana like that before. And the very next race I went to, my banana wouldn't open up the normal way I've had to. I've had to get a knife before to open a banana. Sounds stupid, but never will I have to do that again. And hopefully, if you've ever struggled opening a banana, flip it upside down, give it a little pinch, and now you can eat your banana freely without a struggle, without mud everywhere, no hassle, hassle-free banana. So I hope you have enjoyed this little technique and tip Tuesday from Brenna and the Red Beast with the Conquer the Gauntlet Pro Team. But I will say, definitely check out and message Luke Labonte, our new uh, dietitian for the team. I bet you he can answer all of your questions that you have about bananas and any other food dietary needs. I call him the magician. He is my dietitian, nutritionist, magician because he works magic with food. So. Please, enjoy the next time you open your banana and think of me.